What's up, crypto world? This is Yosef, aka Crypto Yosef, and we are making a technical analysis video on Ripple, and you guys can give that shout out to Crypto Carps. He's the one, he's the reason why I'm making this technical analysis right now. I actually tried to make this twice, but I just spoke too long. It was too long of a video, so I wanted to make it shorter. So I'm giving him a shout out right now. Shout out to him. He's the reason why I'm making this because earlier this didn't ha get uh, get enough likes, but I was like, what the heck, I'll still make it. And now it's past 10 likes anyways. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis on Ripple. But before we get in on this technical analysis, I want you guys to drop a like on this video and follow me on Twitter. Just following me on Twitter is just a good uh, financial uh, move anyways. I'm not a financial advisor, but I tweet out a lot of good information on the market and technical analysis and stuff like that. And what I'm doing with my uh, crypto. So. It's a good idea to follow me on Twitter as well. But please do leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. It helps me get on the search results. And if you guys are watching this right now and you guys, um, you, you know, you're liking what I'm doing with my technical analysis and stuff like that, comment down below hashtag 1K Twitter. Just, just please do that. Um, I'm going to tweet it here. Hashtag 1K Twitter. So if you guys are watching this video, like this tweet if you guys don't want to comment it for some reason. Um, just like like the tweet hashtag 1k Twitter so you know we could get that 1k on Twitter <laughs> um, now let's go ahead and get into the technical analysis because I want to be pretty quick on this um, you know render times are rough and I want to upload it before because um, you know they're waiting for it it's been been about like 40 minutes now I think or something like that so want to get that out uh, you know for crypto carps <laughs> so uh, a couple things I see here so what happened here is we see a flash crash happened and that led me to believe a couple things someone in my opinion what it looks like is someone didn't want ripple there's two reasons for the, for this so I see an ABC correction pattern forming after a rejection on the fifth wave and you can actually argue that that is the end of the fifth wave but I think it's a rejection because you see that ABC correction pattern forming there and then we see this um, trend line. It breaks below the trend line, and that's there's a, there's a couple reasons why that could happen. So it looks like someone tried to sh really really short ripple hard, and it triggered off a lot of stop losses. And if you guys know how flash crashes work, you understand how this worked. And uh, some people probably got a lot of ripple for really really cheap on discount, and a lot of gains really quickly. Probably like sixty percent. That looks like about sixty percent, maybe eighty percent. Yeah, about about sixty percent makes sense it looks about like 60 percent but some people a couple days ago on ethereum got stupid rich i just want to bring this up because flash crash we see one on ripple right here so i want to show you guys this someone is a millionaire now with only 350 dollars based because of an ethereum crash this crash wasn't even one second long so that's crazy like flash crashes are really cool and um <laughs> it's sort of like uh, i think you have a way higher chance of um winning getting into a flash crash than you do getting struck by lightning so yeah, it's, it's, uh, flash crashes are more common than winning the lottery, obviously. But, yeah, that guy is a millionaire off $350. So, kudos to whoever that is. <laughs> whoever said their buy order at $0.10 cents on Ether. It's nice. Okay. Um, Back to our technical analysis, though. So, it looks like someone sort of wanted to short Ripple hard, and they, they had a lot of money. Because to short Ripple and cause a flash crash, you have to have a lot of money. So, with Ethereum, you have to have a stupid amount of money to be able to short it. So that's what happened here. Triggered off a lot of stop losses. A lot of people lose money from this. Because if you understand how markets work, for people to make money, other people have to lose money. That's just how markets work. I mean, it's it makes sense. Someone has to buy your losses. Someone has to buy your gains, right? So that's how people make money. <laughs> um, that's how liquidity exists too, right? Um, that's why you want to know what you're doing when you're selling and buying um, into the market. If you're buying for fundamental reasons, uh, that makes sense too, right? You're holding for the long term. So it doesn't really matter if you're getting burnt for that time because you're not looking for quick gains or whatever. I actually do have some Ripple and holdings just for holding. And then I have my trading Ripple. And right now my trading Ripple is I, I bought in on Ripple. Uh, I don't know. What was it? I actually bought in up here, 90, 92 cents. Or was it 90 cents? It was somewhere there. That's where I got in. So, you know, right now I'm a little bit burnt, right? <laughs> I think it was there. Yeah. No, I don't think it was. It was 85 cents. I, what am I talking about? I bought it at 85. I forgot because it's been a while since I looked at Ripple because I've been talking about Icon so much. So, yeah, Ripple got back in on 85 cents. You know, I'm a little bit down here. But that's completely fine. We're almost back there anyways. Um, 
So what happened, what I also see something else is forming, but you guys want price projections, so I'll give you guys that in a second. What, what looks good here is we have oscillators reset. They look really healthy as well. It looks like we're ready to run again. And also, it looks like a cup and handle. So if you look right here, we see it gets, sh it gets shorted, right? I called, I still called this. I got the call right on, on Ripple, barely. Um, I have the range. I had the range set to 96 to 108, I believe. And we did touch the 96 cents, and you know, after that, someone shorted it really hard because we only touched it with the wick. Someone didn't want Ripple to really run, so it got shorted really hard. And then, you know, what happened with Bitcoin? That that was like some some problems yesterday to the whole market because we were going down a little bit because of Bitcoin. And now we're, we're we're good now. We're good. <laughs> we're running back up, and it was good because we got some resets going on here. And um, so what's going to happen here in the short term, we're going to see a lot of resistance here at 90 cents after we break 90 cents because there's a trend line because we're going to bounce back over this. It looks really healthy here. We're definitely going to break through this um, bottom that we've had for a while here within this channel, right? This has been the new channel that we formed and I, I have uh, some support levels in a way so you can kind of tell when we're at the middle, where we're at the top and you can kind of play this middle as a top sometimes and get some gains on swings if you want to draw this out on your own chart as well so looking at this ripple will see some resistance on 90 cents we're gonna see 98 to 96 cents touched again we'll have to see how that works out but what I really see um, most accurate is 104 it makes the most sense to me that's where I see ripple really landing it could also land at 114 through 124 that's a pretty big window but that makes sense to me as well and so I, I'll give you ranges. I'll give you a 96 cents to 104 range, 105 range. Uh, you could even say 108 range, like I had it set up, 96 to 108. That makes a lot of sense to me. And then I also like the range of 114 to 124. You want to use these as checkpoints. So your first checkpoint is see how easy Ripple is breaking 90 cents. I think it will break it pretty easily. After that, we'll we'll run up to the to the 96 cents to the 104 range I think we're gonna hit 104 makes a lot of sense so let me explain why so we have LA wave theory here right third leg is pretty long and third legs will never be the shortest leg and the problem about the fifth leg is that it's the hardest to predict see with the third leg you're guaranteed that you're gonna be bigger than the first leg so you can pretty much say I'm gonna get more gains than this so when you look at the first leg you're like okay well I will make more gains on this by then 44% and if we look at the gains on this leg you get 51% so uh, that's where I get 114 from so if it was to match this 55% run up you would get 114 if it was to match the 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 shortest leg currently you would get 104 you could argue that this was the end of wave 5 I look at it as a rejection just because of the A through ABC correction pattern that followed it and uh, yeah so that's sort of where I have my price ranges set. You can refer to this tweet that I have here. I'll show you. If you look here, I had my call right. It was it was very brief, like I showed you guys. It got shorted really hard uh, with a 96 cent range here. You can see we got the call right. It was just really shorted. And uh, looking at this, you can pretty much refer to these price ranges. Obviously, I adjusted them a little bit. But yeah, these are your price ranges, and uh, that's still what I see going on. And I actually want to point out one more thing before I end this video. So I see this cup and handle, and I don't know if you guys see it too, but if you were to look right here, this could be argued right here. This could be argued that this is a part of a cup. Because if you guys were looking at Icon, there was a couple cup and handles, and that's what happened here as well. We have this cup and handle, right, and then we have the breakout. Then we have this cup and handle that we're currently forming. You see it touches here. And then after it touches, we're going back down. And it makes sense because it touches, it bounces off EMAs. And usually when you see cup and handles form, it always bounces off the EMA. So we have a cup and handle forming. You can argue that. And that means we can have a lot of momentum and we can break out really hard. So we could really blow past 104. We could we could see 114, 120, 124. And if we, we have a lot of momentum, because these oscillators are pretty reset, we could even see that 150 to, what is it, the 150 range, uh, 140 to 150 range, we could see that range. There's obviously this really significant trend line right here in this purple trend line that we would really have some difficulty breaking, but it's possible. 
And uh, this trend line's been pretty significant so far. And I drew that out way, way, way back uh, when it first developed. So it's been pretty significant. And I even mentioned, I was like, I don't know how significant this trend line will be, but it's been pretty significant. So yeah, that's my technical analysis on Ripple. Pretty, pretty brief sort of um, forecasting what we can really see. Giving you guys a lot of options with how this one can really play out. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys just did enjoy this technical analysis and of course take it with a grain of salt as always because you know Markets can change. This is with how the current state of the market is like yesterday Bitcoin almost messed up everything with every single crypto because of the way it was moving I mean look someone tried to short ripple to make it look even worse and uh, It obviously got ate up real quick if you understand how flash crashes work but yeah, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this technical analysis. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and uh, follow me on Twitter to get the latest information on a lot of things crypto, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for all the support, guys. Really do appreciate it. And also, shout out to Shaw. He's, he's been really kind to me. He's a new follower, and he's he's been real nice, so I appreciate it. And also, guys, if you guys follow me on Twitter, don't forget to like the 1K Twitter tweet because, you know, that means you watched this video. And if you want to reply to be like, I watched your video and I'm liking it because of that, that's awesome too. I'll, I'll like it, you know, I'll reply to you. Thanks for watching the video now. See you guys on the next one. I'm probably going to go to sleep after I upload this, so good night.